Capitalism is an inherently effective system for facilitating global scale cooperation, innovation, and wealth creation. Conscious capitalism is an adaptive improvement on capitalism, an upgraded operating system for business. One of the strategic shifts as far as State Farm is concerned is that they have rolled out what's called Remarkable. So Remarkable is a service-oriented strategy where they've actually interviewed their customers and found out that what they're looking for is personalized, simple, caring service. So, I mean, insurance is just about one of the most boring industries there is, right? but when they need their insurance company there for them, either at purchase or at time of claim, that's what they want from the company. So State Farm actually generated a whole new strategy for how to serve their customers and give them a remarkable experience each and every time. As far as their culture goes, their culture is truly one of caring. They care about their employees. Um, U.S. News recently ranked them as the number one company to work for. Hi, my name is Martin Camacho. I'm doing my presentation on uh, Oscar Mike, which is radio jargon for On The Move. Well, he started the Oscar Mike company on uh, Veterans Day of 2011, the Oscar Mike organization, the, the foundation, and they are more, mostly focused on getting jobs for veterans. One of, one of my points was that they were born a conscious capitalist organization uh, because he he wasn't trying to make a living. He was just trying to get his friend veterans to the games. And the only way he could do that was to have some kind of income. So that, that's, how the, that's how the first Kickstarter program started. He, um, he made enough money to get as many friends as he could to go to the games. Yeah, they are definitely more focused on their internal meaning and what they want to accomplish than, than any competitors at this time. The four tenets, which I'll just reiterate for a second, higher purpose, it all starts with that. Integrating all stakeholders so that their interests are aligned, it's a win, 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 win. You know, and trading off one versus the other. Conscious leadership, which is based on mentoring, motivating, developing, inspiring. Servant leadership, in a way. It's not about command and control, carrots and sticks and a conscious culture which we will talk about as we go through here as well. But if I were to distill this further and said behind the four tenets, there's really one tenet, and that is this idea of love. And this is a question that John and his founders actually asked when they started Whole Foods, kind of a hippie-like question, right? Can you build a business on love? Right? They said every business seems to have a lot of fear and stress, because as Freud said, love and work are the cornerstones of what it means to be a human being. These are the two things that are paramount in our lives. And wouldn't it be nice if we could combine the two? We looked at a bunch of companies that were built on love. Where customers love them, employees love them, everybody loves these companies. And that's why we have the Hokey title. And we had 18 public and 10 private companies. Uh, Container Store, of course, one of the private companies. Whole Foods, one of the public companies. Many others that you all know and love from that list. And the interesting thing was when we did the financial analysis of these, the expectations were pretty modest that these companies are paying their people well, they're providing great customer service, investing in their community, investing in the environment, paying taxes at a higher rate, doing all this great stuff. Maybe investor returns are good, but nothing great. 
And that's okay because there's lots of value being created here. What we actually found is that they outperformed the market 9 to 1 over 10 years and 10 and a half to 1 over 15 years. In fact, way more than the good to great companies, which were all about making money. What we actually found is that they outperformed the market 9 to 1 over 10 years and 10 and a half to 1 over 15 years. In fact, way more than the good to great companies, which were all about making money.